so we're just minutes away from uh, heading into the theater for WWDC keynote. While attending Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, Apple made the announcement that macOS High Sierra will be natively supporting virtual reality. As someone who's dabbled in 360 degree video, I was quite intrigued. After the press event, I got to try out the HTC Vive, a virtual reality headset. Now yes, I have created some 360 degree video, but I also have a visual impairment. Can someone who's legally blind appreciate VR? I began by trying out a game that put me in a 3D classic arcade space shooter. Using the motion controls, I raised my shield and laser gun and shot incoming alien UFOs. It was very responsive and well detailed. I'm positive I could see greater detail in this space than I actually could in the real world. What do you think? That's crazy. Yeah? Does it work okay for you? Yeah, yeah. actually, like surprisingly yes, because it's like... It's pretty close up there and, and well detailed. Yeah. Next, I got a demo of 360 degree editing on Final Cut Pro, which is my editor of choice on the Mac. I've edited 360 video in Final Cut in the past, but it was never natively supported before this. I'd have to create a custom resolution project and couldn't preview the project properly. I'm excited for this. VR video opens up new possibilities for storytelling. Sure, it's gimmicky, but that's the fun part about exploring new techniques with this medium. And who knows, maybe we could see some more 360 degree video in the not so distant future on this channel. How was that? It was me. So that was all edited in Falcon? That was all edited in Falcon and played right off the time. Following that, I was put into a 3D game design editor where I could move and scale objects in real time to put together a 3D map for an application. This felt pretty weird. It's like you're in this space and you have full control over this reality and bringing objects in and out, changing the properties and so on. I'm no developer or designer, but I feel like this could open up some interesting workflows in those fields. Lastly, I got the opportunity to try out the Star Wars demo that was shown off during Apple's actual press event. I was able to watch a cinematic scene take place, but also was able to look around as Darth Vader was, well, about to murder me. Overall, I actually enjoy virtual reality. I have not tried it for long periods of time, but from what I've tried so far, it's been relatively successful. The high resolution headsets have been able to project details I normally miss out on. I'm stoked to see where this technology will continuously push boundaries. I strongly believe that audio makes up 50% of the video. 360 degree audio is something that's important for a totally blind person to grasp what might be happening in a virtual reality experience. So keep that in mind if you're a developer or a creator creating 360 degree experiences. That is all for this video. What is your opinion on virtual reality? Have you given it a try? I'm curious, let me know down below. Is it something that's accessible to you? Do you get headaches from it? Or do you really actually enjoy the experience that it's providing? Let me know in the comments and that's about it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like these videos, subscribe and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.